My favourite of all those, though, are the engagement stories. Again, loads of my friends getting engaged at the moment, and there's a whole convention about that, about how you're supposed to do it, and the rules you're supposed to observe in some way about all this. Scott, are you, is that your lady beside you there? Are you married, engaged? Engaged. Engaged, okay, well, congratulations, good luck on the big day and all that. I wouldn't dream of asking you to spill the story, that would be embarrassing, I wouldn't do that, right? I will merely check how many of the rules you observed, right? <laughs> Did you, Scott? Did you ask the father's permission? No. Good man yourself. <laughs> did you have the ring when you proposed? Didn't technically propose. You didn't, you did, you didn't technically propose? You, oh, phoom, thank you, that's fantastic. <laughs> Good man yourself. Oh, for all the rules are gone with you. That's brilliant. Did she te technically propose, did she? I might have twisted his arm. You twisted his arm. It's very, very good. Well, good for you. That's even better, for God's sake. I like the way you went along with the questions for the first one or two of them. Well, no, I hadn't asked the father's permission. Yeah, what? I, hello, hello. I, I wonder if you mind if I was proposed to by your daughter. That's it. <laughs> I can't stand these little rules. There's three of them, right? Father thing, the ring, and the beautiful location to do it in, right? Not a fan. You know yourselves. You're at work one day, a friend comes in and goes, oh my God, we're engaged. You go, oh, that's amazing, wow. How did it happen? It was perfect. <laughs> John hired the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and then he rented the original members of the village people <laughs> to spell out the message, Mary, <laughs> will you marry me? <laughs> it was what I always wanted. <laughs> and the feckers who asked permission. If I'm ever the father of a daughter in 30 years' time and some gonk arrives into me, looking for permission. I'm gonna set the fucker tasks. <laughs> He's gonna be collecting a fleece by the end of the week. <laughs> you want my permission? It's the year 2035. She hasn't asked for my permission for anything in years. <laughs> she didn't ask for my permission when she became a whore. <laughs> Oh, did you not know about the whore thing? <laughs> Terribly sorry, I shouldn't have been the one to tell you. Oh, it was years ago, just to pay for the whole... <laughs> <laughs> the best I've ever heard was a mate of mine called Jake, who had the permission, who had the ring, had booked a holiday in the Maldives. It was going to be immaculate. Went through Heathrow security, went through the little shutter thing, all fine. His bag goes through. He had an iPod charger in the bag. Some weird looking box with cables coming out of it. The security woman says, sorry, sir, do you mind taking that out? He says, no problem at all. Opens a bag up, shows it to your one, right? She goes, that's absolutely fine, sir. You can go ahead. And he's about to go when the security woman spots another small, mysterious black box in the bag and stops him and goes, sorry, sir, do you mind opening that up as well? And Jake panics because he's got the girlfriend beside him in the security thing and he just goes, eh. Do you mind if I don't? <laughs> Which is like the wrong thing to say in Heathrow security. And anyone goes, yes, sir, I, I do mind. Could you please open that box up? He says, ah, don't worry, please, I, I do not, I do not open the box, right? And the girlfriend's going, Jesus, Jake, open the box, what's the problem? He's going, oh, relax, <laughs> don't make me open the box, don't make me open the box, right? Which is not a good thing, because you're one, the security room is now stamping on a panic button that she has underneath the desk. Sections of Heathrow are being shut off all around him. <laughs> Other security guards are arriving in and unsheathing weapons. They're going, sorry, sir, could you please assist the woman? Could you, could you open the box? He's going, ah, lads, relax. For fuck's sake, it's only here. Please, please don't let me open the box. Okay. And she goes, sir, please open the box. And the girl goes, go, relax. Ah, just don't let me open the box. And eventually, everyone's going, everyone down, everyone down. Sir, open the box, open the box. <laughs> and Jake, in the middle of Heathrow security, had to reach into his bag, take out the box and turn and go, Mary. These three years have been the happiest years of my life. <laughs> That's the fucking story. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a joy to talk to you. I'm Darlene Langer. That's